well, these electric cars can't really drive. You know, they're, they're just little golf carts. They can't go anywhere. You should be driving the EV1. That was a monster car. You could have a lot of fun with it. There they go, brontosauri, humongosaurus, suburbidons, all sorts of gigantic cars driving along, burning gasoline like they don't give a... Now when a gasoline car starts, the engine has to rev up to carry the force because it, it, it takes a lot more torque to get a car moving than it does to keep it going. And so the, the engine has to rev up and some sort of transmission or clutch has to equalize the power between the wheels, which are zero, and the engine, which is going faster. That leads to brake wear, you know, I mean, a brake wear, transmission wear, clutch wear. And when you stop a car, little brake particles go all over. With an electric car, mostly you don't use the brakes at all. And we took our Honda in after 60,000 miles, our Honda EV, which, by the way, Honda confiscated and crushed. We took it in for uh, special special servicing, they said. And they wouldn't give it back. And they took it away, canceled our lease, and crushed it. So anyway, when we took that in after 60,000 miles, the technician said, don't you guys even use those brakes at all? Because basically on an electric car, these people are, are pouring small, tiny brake particles into the atmosphere and onto the ground, which then form a really bad part of urban runoff. But with an electric car, you're actually taking that energy back into the car and reusing it. It goes right into the batteries and helps to recharge the batteries. And we recharge our batteries hundreds of times a day. General Motors says that, well, you know, we can't make the Volt because the Volt charges its battery hundreds of times a day. Well, the Volt has a gas engine, if it existed. This thing charges its battery hundreds of times a day, doesn't have a gas engine. Now, tell me, if the Volt's impossible, then what am I driving in? You know, why, why would General Motors say, and expect anybody to believe it, that they can't build a car like this? It's obviously they don't want to build a car like this.